Hi dear student, today I am going to deliver online lecture or video lecture. So today we are going to discuss about the transport in animals as we discussed, already discussed about the plant, transport in plant. So the first of all, we are going to discuss about the unicellular organisms. The unicellular organisms are belongs to kingdom protista, so we can call it animal-like protista, like amoeba and paramecium. They are animal-like. They are not animal because animals are multicellular, but they are unicellular. The other properties of these two type of organisms, animals and unicellular organisms, are very similar. So that's why we call it animal-like protista. So we are going to discuss about the transport in unicellular organisms. The major example in unicellular organism we are taking amoeba. Amoeba is a single cell or unicellular organism. The outermost boundary of this organism is a plasma membrane. You, you are already known about the composition of uh, plasma membrane. So amoeba live in fresh water. A, it exchange gases and release metabolize or metabolic waste by simple diffusion. Simple diffusion means the ammonia, oxygen and carbon dioxide. These are the gases. These gases cross directly phospholipid. If molecule cross directly phospholipid, that process is called simple diffusion. A, as you know, the unicellular organism get their food in the, by the process of phagocytosis and phagocytosis is also known as endocytosis because cell takes something in. This is a single cell and after digestion, after digestion, this unicellular organism release their undigested or unmetabolized food or waste by exocytosis process. And you are already studied about these endocytosis and exocytosis in chapter number 4. So now we are going to discuss about the simple multicellular organism. The first of all, we are going to discuss about the hydra. Hydra is a simple multicellular organism. It lives in fresh water. And it is diploblast. What is the meaning of diploblast? Diploblast are the organisms which form two germ layer during development. The one layer that is called endoderm and other layer is called ectoderm. So this is the inner layer, it is called endoderm and this is the outer layer, it is called ectoderm. Between two layers, there is a non-cellular mass is called mesogloia, which is non-cellular gelatinous like mass. Endoderm is also known as gastroderm because the cell present in the endoderm produce digestive enzymes. So they involve in digestion also. And this is the cavity. This cavity is called gastro vascular cavity. We use the term gastro for digestion because this layer is involved in digestion. This layer is involved in digestion. A This cavity is also function as a vascular system, means also involved in the distribution of food. And this is the mouth. You have already discussed about that the hydra get their food, hydra get their food with the help of tentacles. And they are the cnidarians, means they are lidocytes, they have poisonous or stinging cells. By, by releasing needy, they paralyze their prey and get food with the help of tentacles into the through the mouth into the body cavity. Here, as you know, the 
hydra has a sac like digestive system means it has a only single opening they get fresh food from the mouth and release undigested weight through the mouth and the animal has a sac like digestive system uh, perform two type of digestion extracellular which is occur in this digestive cavity and intracellular which is occur within the cells means means these cells get food by simple diffusion maybe that food is completely digested or by phagocytosis maybe that food is hemi digested or half digested food the further digestion takes place in these cells and the food from the endoderm to the ectoderm transport by diffusion because they are simple organisms and about the gases exchange the outer cells release carbon dioxide directly into the water and get oxygen directly from the outer water in inner cell do such activity directly with the inner water and they release ammonia in their waste waste their waste directly in this water so by contraction relaxation when hydra contract the old water or previous water release out from the body and when hydra relax a new water enter into the body so when old water release from the body it carry carry waste this is the metabolic waste of carbohydrate and this is the metabolic waste of nitrogenous compound like protein and uh, nucleic acid and when new water enter into the body cavity it carries oxygen along with itself so this is the uh, transport in hydra transport in hydra now we are going to discuss about the transport in planaria 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 is also a simple multicellular animal why we call it simple multicellular animal actually it is fresh water triploblast 